Hey everyone, how's it going? What is up? It is me, Twister Windstalker. And I just watched a movie on Netflix that, um, well, I don't know. Let's just say it was it's supposed to be action thriller, sci-fi, and fantasy. And, um, I don't know. Um, it's basically about this team of, I guess, mercenaries that went down into a Soviet basis basement to find out that this scientist has took in this meteorite that landed in the time of dinosaurs and it had DNA in it and the Russians who are good at everything else but um DNA got a scientist that could do DNA and so the scientist took a little bit of human DNA mixed it with the DNA inside the um, how do I want to put it asteroid and created two mutants probably not at the exact same time but two mutants from it that have eyes like um, spiders that's what it reminds me of even though they're a little yeah spiders and it was a male and a female and they didn't speak they didn't think they was intelligent they you know but it turns out they have levitation powers and whatever and the female somehow got pregnated and was getting ready to give birth and one of the team members of the mercenaries ended up shooting the girl and then they decided not to save the baby for whatever reasons and it turns out that the leader of the team was going to get betrayed or did get betrayed because these other people was promised that they were going to get a lot of money if they had done this and gone and get this research and a whole bunch of stuff went down the boy broke out because he made something where he could only breathe a certain kind of atmosphere and he figured out a way to make this thing where he could breathe normal atmosphere and spend time outside of his home environment and so he did that and he made a ray that bust heads and he picked up the member that shot his sister and slammed her on the ground and at first I thought that he may have broke her neck but it ended up that she had a broken arm and um broken leg and the way she hit the ground I mean I seriously thought she he was screwed up and he goes and sees his sister and then he shoots the scientist with his weapon that explodes heads which reminds me of so many sci-fi movies oh lord and of course the basis of this movie as it turns out seems to be kind of like um species where you know they took human dna and alien dna and mixed it together or any of those that tend to do that so yeah and then of course the kid escapes you know and there's these kids i guess they're orphans that's down in the sewer that the scientist lead scientist because this other girl that was on the team to lead them there um was jealous or something and these things inject people with this mutation stuff and the one guy that got injected by one of them ended up growing a ginormous arm that kind of reminds me of um oh what was that boss in resident evil that just kind of had one ginormous arm like, 
um, dang, what was his name? It wasn't the boss of the first one, was it? Let's see. Anyway, so there was that, and so he gets out, and this one guy, um, the kid's gun, I guess, ran out of battery power or something, I don't know, and the guy was a smart aleck and said, oh, don't you hate it when your battery dies, and the guy picks up a machete and cuts him in half. And another member of the team um, that got hurt, you know, pulled a grenade and exploded, and of course the woman that was behind the entire thing um, do the thing where she uh, gets up after having a blast in the back that made up and well, it could have been painful, but it wasn't. And of course, she ends up getting shot. And the other guy that was in the control room watching everything go down, um, I guess got put in a dress or a gown or I don't know what it was. And the boy that had the eyes that was, I guess, more than a sister, um, finally spoke and said, go ahead and shoot me. And then, you know, because he was looking at Raven. And then he jumped over the wall, and then the guy just sat there and ate a sandwich. And then the last you seen of him, he was in Russian military um, vehicle with Russians around him, and they was taking him somewhere. And he had bandages around him. And he'd been shot, and don't know what they were gonna do with him. And then the kid. Um, that was five, but looked like he was like 17, 18. Uh, killed this guy in the bathroom, took his clothes, put on the sunglasses, threw up a hoodie, put in an air phone, and walked out of Grand Central Station across a bridge and um, went on his merry way. And that's how it ends, and it's like, really? Okay. So, it's a good thing I have Netflix and, you know, pay like $8 a month to watch these things because that would be one movie that I'd be interested in actually have buying in the $5 bin and then would have been probably disappointed. So, it's a good thing I have Netflix now because... Yeah, not a good movie. It was horrific. I give it like a one out of ten. It was just, and I usually like sci-fi movies like that, but jeez, it was just god awful. It was the only one I wouldn't buy again. That's for sure. Yeah, horrible. Doesn't even begin to describe the movie. I mean, it is just, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just, ew. I mean, it's on the same line as Breeders, and I gave Breeders the same score because that movie was stupid as heck. I think it was supposed to be more of a horror. <sighs> oh well. I guess you win some and you lose some. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys later.